to the confirmation hearings for Supreme Court nominee Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson. She is facing another round of questioning this morning. Our congressional correspondent, Rachel Scott, is there on Capitol Hill with the latest. Good morning, Rachel. Robin, good morning, and it will be another long day here on Capitol Hill. After 13 hours of questioning, Judge Jackson will return today with one final opportunity to defend her record. This morning, Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson back in the hot seat, preparing for the final day of questioning, pushing back against Republicans who claim she's soft on crime. As someone who has had family members on patrol and in the line of fire. I care deeply about public <clears throat> safety. Jackson opened with a forceful defense, rejecting allegations she let child porn offenders off the hook. As a mother and a judge who has had to deal with these cases, I was thinking that nothing could be further from the truth. It is important to me to make sure that the children's perspective, the children's voices are represented in my sentencing. Republicans zeroing in on her time as a public defender, representing terror suspects detained in Guantanamo Bay. Did you ever accuse in one of your habeas petitions the government of acting as war criminals for holding the detainees? That, that I'm, I'm, the holding of the detainees by, by our government that we were acting as war criminals. Senator, I don't remember that accusation. Jackson saying that never happened. So to be clear, there was no time where you called President Bush or Secretary Rumsfeld a, quote, war criminal, close quote. Did you want Correct, to respond? Senator. Then Republican Senator Ted Cruz grilling the first black woman nominated to the high court about race reading from a children's book called Anti-Racist Baby, saying it's taught at the school Jackson's teenage daughter attends and where the judge sits on the board. Do you agree with this book that is being taught with kids that, that babies are racist? Senator. I do not believe that any child should be made to feel as though they are racist or though they are not valued or though they are less than. On abortion, Jackson making her position clear. Roe and Casey are the settled law of the Supreme Court. And near the end of the hearing, Jackson getting personal, opening up about the realities of being a working mom. There are lots of responsibilities in the world and that you don't have to be a a perfect mom, but if you do your best and you love your children, that things will things will turn out okay. It's unclear if Judge Jackson will get any Republican support. Senator Lindsey Graham, who supported her confirmation to the D.C. Circuit, stormed out of this hearing room yesterday, saying he sees red flags. Robin. And Rachel, thank you. We're going to have live gavel-to-gavel -gavel coverage of the confirmation hearings beginning this morning on our streaming service, ABC News Live. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.